So this guy right here is the iPhone mount with MagSafe for Mac notebooks. And if you're wondering what that is, do you remember when uh, Apple showed off continuity camera and there was this like crazy thing on top of the MacBook that was holding the iPhone? Yeah, this is that product. It's finally available, although it might not be in every Apple store quite yet, but I was able to find mine inside of my local Apple store. And so I figured let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what it's all about and get it going with continuity camera. So the unboxing process can't possibly be anything crazy. I mean, it's just a tiny little box. If you're wondering how much this thing costs, it's $29.95. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's just go ahead and pull off the tab. It's not one of those cool Apple tabs where you can easily pull this thing apart and kind of get into it. It's gonna require me to go kind of Neanderthal on this to open it. So in theory, it should be, you know what? I've had enough of this. Okay, all right, there we go. So I opened it like a Neanderthal, but when you open it, you get instructions here on how to add it to the top of your MacBook. Apparently you can also use this thing as a pop socket if you wanna just kinda of hold it and use it for whatever you want. Uh, inside of this little description part of the box here, it shows people using it as a kickstand. So I mean, it, gets, it has multi-use, it's not just for continuity camera if you don't want it to be. All right, let's go ahead and pull it out. It's got a little bit of weight to it. It is magnetic. And this is the white version. There's also a black model if you're interested in that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, so yeah, here's the whole thing, really. Your phone goes to the back of this, just like any other MagSafe product. And then you can pull out this little tab here. And so here's where they're saying you can use it, you know, kind of like this. Wait, which way? I guess if you want to stick your finger inside the hole, you can use it as like a pop socket. It's not going to come off. I don't know. I mean, I probably won't use this besides, you know, the way it was intended for the continuity camera. But I mean, I guess you can use it as a little kickstand here if you wanted to. Okay, so I got the laptop here. I also had to get the box because I threw it like an idiot. And then I don't have the directions and it shouldn't be that hard, but there is a specific way in which you want to do this and I don't want to mess this up. And so I'm looking at the directions here and it seems to tell me that I want this part facing up like that. And then you kind of kick that piece out and uh, then you just kind of put it on there. Okay, it wasn't that hard. And then you just kind of place it on the top and I believe that works. Uh, let's open up FaceTime. And, oh, look at that. It looks like my phone already, it already did it. Oh, I didn't even have to do anything. That's crazy. So I rarely use this, so I don't even like remember how this goes, but look, I mean, you can see so much better. This is from my iPhone, which is crazy. And then what's pretty cool is that you have your own effects. So if I go up here in the top right corner, I can go for my portrait effects, center stage. I can turn that on and now it's gonna track me when I move around, which is pretty cool. I can do studio light so I can kind of dim the background and get it all focused up on me if I wanted to be. I can have all three of these uh, effects on at the same time, by the way. I'm going to turn off portrait mode. But now the one that everybody wants to see, desk view. Let's see how this works. I had to move this down a little bit um, just to see if that would work out all right. So let's just start desk view. And I mean, yeah, you can, you can see my fingers. This is weird. So if I brought like another phone over, like, hey, we're talking about the Pixel 7 Pro. If I did that, would that look, yeah, I mean, you can do like a whole top down setup. That's pretty cool. It's not the best quality in the world, but like if I was on a call and I wanted to show somebody like, hey, this is how you use your phone. You should go here into settings and open up Spotify or something. I don't know. I mean, this would, this would work pretty well, I think. So yeah, that's, uh, that's continuity camera in a nutshell. That's this Belkin product in a nutshell because there's really not much else to it. You can, if you don't like to go horizontal, you can go um, like this and kind of have it still running. But if you want to keep it like that, you can do that. And you get a little less 
wide angleness to it. I don't know, uh, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, and this is a great solution for those who are running like you know lower end MacBooks with kind of worse cameras. Pretty much anything before this last year, uh, most MacBook cameras, MacBook Air cameras were pretty bad. And so you could definitely use your new iPhone and uh, and have a really good video call going. Um, just for reference, let me show you what it looks like. I'm gonna disconnect this. This is what it looks like on my phone, or I mean on my. Uh, MacBook Pro camera. It's not bad. It's a very good camera and I'm in very good lighting, but I mean, you can probably see yourself and try this out at home. You can see what you look like with your MacBook camera and then put on continuity camera and it works just fine. But yeah, this is a quick little look at this Belkin little MagSafe mount. Um, let me know in the comments down below if this is something you think you can eat. I think I saw some knockoff ones on Amazon you can get too, so just something to keep in mind. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.